Hello, hello, everyone. This is day 31 of Couchover. We are officially done. Well, not yet, because I still have to do this video. Anyway, as opposed to previous years, where the video 31 is normally just a wrap up of everything that we did, I thought I would show you something really, really, really quick, but very important for you to know how to do um, in Anypoint Gold Builder. So let's get started and then we can actually wrap up. So in Anypoint Gold Builder, I'm going to start by developing an integration. It's just going to be named test and let me create the project. All right, here we have a new project. I'm going to just make it very, very simple. There we go. We just have one flow. Uh, with a listener, an HTTP listener listening on path test. Um, this is localhost 8081 and a logger that just logs success. Yay. So let's really quickly run this just to make sure that this actually runs. Uh, here, yes, run. All right, this was deployed and I already have my Thunder client here to send this request. And this was 100k and in the console there it says success so we were able to make this work let me stop this and now there are two different ways to deploy these to cloud hub i'm sure there are more but i just want to mention these two because they're important um so one if we open this thing we will see here a button that says deploy to Cloud Hub. You can do that, which I think is easier because it will just automatically go there. But if you are old school um, and you want to just get the jar, we can also do that. So note something though, if you open it from here, you won't be able to see the option. So you do have to open the test.xml or whatever uh, XML configuration file you have. And from here, you can open the palette and search for MuleSoft export project to Mule deployable jar. So if you select that one, it will start getting the target folder and everything set up for you to have the jar. There we go. So let me just remove this. Um, it says export deployable jar file, and then you can just click on open folder. And here we have it. So if I move this to desktop, for example, then I will be able to access it right away. So now if I go to Runtime Manager, I can deploy an application, say test, um, share space, share, and then import file from Exchange or upload file. I'm going to select upload file and I'm going to select the jar that I just sent to my desktop. There we go. So you can now set up here anything you want to use. I don't want to use Edge, so I'm going to stay on 440. I don't have any properties, and I think this looks good. So replica size, there we go. And let's deploy this. Now, once this is deployed, we can simply open the public endpoint and add the test here at the end. Wait, I think I need to take off the S from HTTP. Now it works, uh, should work. HTTP and then the whole thing and then slash test at the end. So let's run that. And if we go here, we can see that there was a success. Or actually, I think all of them work because I have now a lot of successes. Anyway, this worked. So the deployable jar file was successfully created. Remember, you just have to be inside the configuration file so you can actually open this and get the export project to Mule deployable jar. All right, and with that, we conclude Coach Over 2023. Yay! I will hopefully see you next year for Coach Over 2024. This will be four years of Coach Over next year. So today we conclude three years of Coach Over. I really appreciate everyone who has been there for me. And I just hope that I can continue creating great, useful, high quality content for you all. Let me know if you want me to create any other kind of videos or articles for you. I am so happy to help. And I will see you next year on Coachover then. Bye.